Hi, my name's Tim, you're watching PMTV. We're here with Luke from Korg to have a look at the brand new analog modelling synth, the uh, King Korg. Hi, I'm Luke Edwards from Korg UK, um, here to show you the fantastic new King Korg. Let's have a listen. Okay, so what we've got here is our, our um, brand new analog modelling synth with loads and loads of classic waveforms, all from original analog synths, and also our famous uh, DW8000, DWGS waves from that, and of course some PCM sample based waves as well. So we can put them all in the pot together, which is, makes it great for sound design. What's nice about the King Korg is that everything has its own dedicated control, whether that would be the S oscillator down to its own screen, showing the waveform, the filter down to its own screen showing the, the filter itself, the amplifier, LFO, the envelope controls, and of course over on the left then you have all of your um, effects. So you've got three effects, an overall EQ. So let's have a listen to some of the filters that we've modelled. First of all, the King Korg's filter itself, which is based on our radius synth. We've also modelled um, what we're calling the P5 filter, which sounds like this. And of course the OB filter, very classic, uh, very famous synth from the, from the 70s and 80s. Of course we've got our own MS-20 in there as well. We've got LFOs on board, we've got two LFOs, one's for filter, one's for pitch, they both have their own dedicated controls and you can just toggle between the two of them here. So at the moment this pad is set to filter, so I can add some nice motion to the sound if I want to. You'll see that I'm using um, my favourites actually to navigate through these different sounds. So I can have up to five banks of favourites, A, B, C, D and E. They each have eight different favourites in there. So you've got 40 sounds that you can save. If you prefer to go through your sounds just by category, you can press program. And then these are your categories of sounds. And then you just use the wheel to go through. So it's very easy to navigate. Another really cool thing about the King Korg is you have this analogue tube in there so you can adjust the amount of drive that gives or you can turn it off completely or you can even give it a boost so if you want to make your sound really gritty and grainy and um, give it a real edge use the boost for this kind of sound Over here we've got the envelope, so this, uh, the EG there stands for Envelope Generator, that's the attack, decay, sustain and release of the sound, so you can very easily change how it responds when you hit the keys, but you can also set to that to the filter as well, it has its own envelope, so for this kind of sound it's great because you can actually get the sound to develop as you play. <laughs> There's actually two timbres in the King Call. The timbre is basically a sound. Each sound or timbre comprises three 
oscillators, one, two, and three, uh, which means you can either stack six on top of each other, or you can split the keyboard and have timbre A and then B for a split. So here we've got a layer. So we've got a, this is timbre A. By using the joystick in this case, I can actually bring in the second timbre. And the, the pitch bend mod wheel actually is, has um, four axis, which means I can bring it down. Maybe introduce some reverb and filter. So I can I can basically control whatever I like from here. This is a completely programmable matrix. Using these two timbres in a different way, I can split the keyboard down the middle, and I can have the split point wherever I want to have, say, maybe a pad on my left and a lead on my on my right. we've got an arpeggiator in here as well so we can use it in quite a basic way like this or it has different modes so we can have it do pattern going up or down or up and down or random or alternate or in this case we call it trigger You'll also notice there I've got a split keyboard, so the arpeggiator can be sent to timbre A, timbre B, or both, so you can be selective. So to get into the, the deeper functions of the arpeggiator, it's just shift arpeggio. I can page through then, and see there's a resolution, there's a gate time swing, how many steps it is, and also show me the steps. So I can push this dial, and then go through and say, okay, let's take out this step, and this step, and you get a nice syncopated kind of rhythm. The King Korg isn't just about synth sounds though, we have lots of um, PCM based sounds as well we call them, which are basically sample based sounds, things like pianos, strings, roads, organs and so on. Let's check out a few of those. We also have in here a very famous um, M1 organ sound. And some absolutely beautiful Mellotron samples as well, so we can replicate this kind of Mellotron flute sound, for example. And we have some great EPs on in here. And what's nice about that is that we can do the same thing that we um, do on the SV1, because that has a tube as well. We can send it through the King Korg's tube. So we can take a sound like this um, 70s EP, as it's called. Which is a nice sound. But if you start sending it through the tube and drive it a little bit, when you dig into the key, you get that real bite. And what's also nice is you can control that with the dynamics. So it makes it very playable. So, that's the King Korg, that's what it's all about. Great sounds in there, loads of real-time controls, each section having its own dedicated control section as well. The filter models, which are fantastic, and of course, that tube which really warms everything up or dries it as need be. If you're in a store nearby, go and check one out. Cheers.